Plains Zebra the plains zebra Equus quagga, formerly Equus birchley, also known as the common zebra, is the most common and geographically widespread species of zebra. Its range is fragmented, but spans much of southern and eastern Africa south of the Sahara. Six subspecies have been recognized including the extinct quagga which was thought to be a separate species. However, more recent research supports variations in zebra populations being clines rather than subspecies. The plains zebra is intermediate in size between the larger Grevy's zebra and the smaller mountain zebra, and tends to have broader stripes than both. Great variation in coat patterns exists between clines and individuals. The plain zebra's habitat is generally, but not exclusively, treeless grasslands and savanna woodlands, both tropical and temperate. They generally avoid desert, dense rainforest, and permanent wetlands. Zebras are preyed upon by lions and spotted hyenas and to a lesser extent crocodiles, cheetahs, and African wild dogs. The plains zebra is a highly social species, forming harems with a single stallion, several mares, and their recent offspring, bachelor groups also form. Groups may come together to form herds. The animals keep watch for predators, they bark or snort when they see a predator, and the harem stallion attacks predators to defend his harem. The plains zebra remains common in game reserves, but is threatened by human activities such as hunting for its meat and hide, as well as competition with livestock and encroachment by farming on much of its habitat. The species population is stable and not endangered, though populations in most countries have declined sharply. As of 2016, the plains zebra is classified as near threatened by IUCN. Plains zebras primarily feed on grass, preferred species being Thermida triandra, Cynodon dactylon, Erigrostus superba and Sencris ciliaris. Zebras sometimes browse or dig for corms and rhizomes during the dry season. They appear to partial to eating scorched Colophospermum mopane and Pterocarpus rotundifolius, consuming both the leaves and twigs. Plains zebras are adapted for grazing on both long, tough grass stems and newly emerging short grass. In some areas, it rarely feeds below 100 to 150 mm to ground level. It ranges more widely than many other species, even into woodlands, and it is often the first grazing species to appear in a well-vegetated area. The flexible upper lip allows them to push plant material between the incisors to cut. Zebras have a less efficient digestive system than ruminants but food passage is twice as fast. Thus, zebras are less selective in foraging, but they do spend much time eating. The zebra is a pioneer grazer and prepares the way for more specialized grazers such as blue wildebeests and Thompson's gazelles. The plains zebra's major predators are lions and spotted hyenas. Lions are most successful when targeting lone individuals, usually an old male while hyenas chase and isolate an individual from the group, usually a female or foal. Nile crocodiles also prey on zebras when they near water. Less common predators include cheetahs and African wild dogs, which mostly hunt foals. Plains zebras are nomadic and non-territorial. They are more active during the day and spend most of their time feeding. Other activities include dust bathing, rubbing, drinking and intermittent resting which is very brief. At night, zebra activity is subdued except when threatened by predators. They may rest or sleep laying down, while one individual keeps guard. The plains zebra is highly social and usually forms small family groups called harems, which consist of a single stallion, several mares, and their recent offspring. The adult membership of a harem is highly stable, typically remaining together for months to years. Groups of all male bachelors also exist. These are stable groups of up to 15 males with an age-based hierarchy led by a young male. These males stay in their groups until they are ready to start a harem. The bachelors prepare for their adult roles with play fights and greeting, challenge rituals, which take up most of their activities. Multiple harems and bachelor groups come together to form larger herds of hundreds of animals, especially during migrations. Plains zebras are unusual among harem-holding species in forming these groups. In addition, pairs of harems may create temporarily stable subgroups within a herd, allowing individuals to interact with those outside their group. Among harem-holding species, this has only been observed in primates such as the gelada and the hamadryas baboon. Bachelor groups tend to be at the periphery of herds and when the herd moves, the bachelors trail behind. Stallions form and expand their harems by abducting young mares from their natal harems. When a mare reaches sexual maturity and has her first estrus cycle, she attracts the attention of nearby stallions, both bachelors and harem leaders. 
Her family stallion, likely her father, chases off or fights stallions attempting to abduct her. Even after a young mare is isolated from her natal harem, the fight over her continues until her estrus cycle is over, and it starts again with the next estrus cycle. It is rare that the mare's original abductor keeps her for long. When the mare finally ovulates, the male that impregnates her keeps her for good. Thus, the mare becomes a permanent member of a new harem. Estrus in a female becomes less noticeable to outside males as she gets older, hence competition for older females is virtually non-existent. Physical Description The plains zebra stands at a height of 127 to 140 cm with a head body length of 217 to 246 cm and a tail length of 47 to 56.5 cm. Males weigh 220 to 322 kg while females weigh 175 to 250 kg. The species is intermediate in size between the larger Grevy's zebra and the smaller mountain zebra. It is dumpy bodied with relatively short legs and a skull with a convex forehead and a somewhat concave nose profile. The neck is thicker in males than in females. The ears are upright and have rounded tips. They are shorter than in the mountain zebra and narrower than in the Grevy's zebra. As with all wild equids, the plains zebra has an erect mane along the neck and a tuft of hair at the end of the tail. Stripes. Like all zebras, they are boldly striped in black and white, and no two individuals look exactly alike. Compared to other species, the plains zebra has broader stripes. The stripes are vertical on the fore part of the body, and tend towards the horizontal on the hindquarters. Northern zebra populations have narrower and more defined striping, southern populations have varied but lesser amounts of striping on the underparts, the legs and the hindquarters. Southern populations also have brown shadow stripes between the black and white coloring. These are absent or poorly expressed in northern zebras. The natal coat of a foal is brown and white and the brown darkens with age. Embryological evidence has shown that the zebra's background color is dark and the white is an addition. The first subspecies to be described, the now extinct quagga, had plain brown hindquarters. Various mutations of the zebra's pelage have occurred, from mostly white to mostly black. Rare albino zebras have been recorded in the forests of Mount Kenya. The purpose of the bold black and white striping of zebras has been a subject of debate among biologists for over a century. A 2012 study suggests that stripes may have developed to discourage biting flies. Experiments have demonstrated that the stripes polarize light in such a way that it discourages tabanids biting flies in a manner not shown with other coat patterns. A 2014 study also supports the theory that they are a form of protection from biting flies and compared to other wild equines, zebras live in areas with the highest fly activity. The quagga appears to have lived in areas with lesser amounts of fly activity than other zebras. Another study from 2015 determined that environment temperature is a strong predictor for zebra striping patterns and proposed that the stripes may be related to thermoregulation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.